Okay, so I'm a singles player now and I moved in. I've got the court covered. And we mentioned I volleyed the ball deep on my approach volley. And coming in from midcourt, I volleyed deep to the backhand side to get in. The person on the other side hit a dipping volley or they're off balance back there. My next shot is my next choice of shot is should I volley the ball deep again or should I volley the ball shorter? This goes back into allowing the racket head to lose the collision with the ball because with the player deep in, court, in the court in square three on his backhand, my goal is to take the pace off the ball and hit a shorter ball. Notice once again, I'd executed the things of moving through the ball. So I had entry, execution, and an exit so I could ready for the next ball. But I learned how to take the pace off. I have two cones up front because I can do the drop volley to either side, to this side or to that side. So how would I measure that? How would I know which one to go for? If I'm playing a very fast person, they're typically going to hit the ball from their ad court side and they're headed to the other side of the court really fast because they know that's the open court, which is a great time for me to volley behind them back into square four. If the player's a slower player or he's off balance, he didn't recover really fast, I'd volley ahead of the player. So based on the position I'm playing against, or the kind of person, if he's fast or quick, or the position I put him in would tell me if I should play to the short side with the volley or go behind the player. And once again, it's a matter of letting the racket lose the collision with the ball. I can also add spin. If the ball's low, I have a bit of a continental grip because I want the racket face open. If it's higher, I might have more of a square grip to go short out there, more of a continental grip to get more of an angle to go behind the player. So I, once again, the height of the ball and my intent for the shot decides a lot about my grip. So I need to practice having different grips as I volley to execute different tactical shots or tactical situations. So drop volley is great when the opponent's really deep. If I volley deep again, I give him one more chance. So what we discovered in all my research about where the players volley, it's called short balls win points, deep balls cause rallies. And the deeper I volley, the more time since I'm going to cause a rally coming back to me. And I want to rally up here. I want to finish the point. That's why I got up here. It's called an ending volley. So short balls win points. Deep balls cause rallies. So you can practice on the ball machine with the ball machine feeding you the ball. You can make your approach volley, come in on the next ball, same ball off the ball machine, and then try to do an ending volley where you execute the shot, but recover just in case the ball comes back again.